it was Waddell and Majors and Russell, and they had put together this thing called the Pony Express. <laughs> and I went in there, and I saw a gentleman that I had known back in Leavenworth who worked for the company, and he said, well, okay, I'll give you a job with the Pony Express. I know you, you're an honest young man. I know you're a hard worker. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to give you a 45-mile stretch. You'll ride that every day in 15-mile increments. You'll ride 15 miles at a gallop to a way station. You'll get off, get on another uh, horse, and keep the, the pouch with you, and then do another leg, change horses, do another leg, and then you'll be done for the day, and you'll sleep there that night, and then coming back, it's the same thing the next day. Well, it was pretty interesting. The, the pouch was waterproof leather, and it was sealed in St. Joseph, Missouri. And it didn't have its seal broken until it got to Sacramento, California. And then the mail was parceled out there. The mail, now you probably think you have some pretty high mail rates today. Two ounces for a letter, five dollars. One letter paid my wages for one day. I was making about 125 a month or so, 120, 125. And that was considered darn good money in those days, darn good money. And, uh, it was the same thing, back and forth. There was a time when I had got to the way station and it had been attacked by Indians. My relief rider had been killed. And so I went on, I set a record of 300 and some miles before I had an opportunity to rest. It was over 24 hours. But for the most part, Riding for the Pony Express was very boring. I was seeing the same terrain every day, until one day. I came riding along the trail, and it was kind of a windy trail, and I came around the bend, and there in the middle of the road stood this very large man with a bandana over his mouth, 